Yeah, I don't know what uh, Democrats were thinking when they started this whole process of defund the police. When they said to law enforcement, you're the problem, not the criminals. When they said to people that are committing small crimes to say, you can, we'll just look the other way and consider that you just had a tough upbringing and so we're not going to pay attention to that and assume nothing else happens. I don't know what they expected when they launched out sanctuary cities and said if individuals that are illegally present in the country, if they come to the United States, we're just going to look the other way and allow those individuals to stay in the country even though they commit crime after crime after crime. Literally across the street from this Capitol building is Union Station, where just this week a person illegally present in the country painted swastikas all over Union Station, but ICE didn't deport them because D.C. is a sanctuary city and they weren't getting turned over. We have a serious problem with just basic law enforcement in this country. That right now this administration is trying to handcuff law enforcement and release criminals. We're doing exactly the wrong thing time after time after time. Individuals that illegally cross our southern border are being released in the country, and federal law enforcement officials are being treated as if they're hotel check-in staff rather than federal law enforcement, and told to just wave people through. We're not getting any criminal history from the countries of origin they're coming from. We literally have no idea if they have a criminal history from where they just came from. We're tracking it once they have a criminal history here, but the enforcement is almost none. And the message now is, if you illegally cross our southern border, when you're waved in, you're given your first hearing in six years. Literally being told, you can stay illegally present in the country for the next six years. And by the way, if you don't show up for that hearing, they're already getting the message, we're not going to pursue you either. When an administration has a policy of defund the police, when our big cities have district attorneys that are saying we're not going to prosecute, when our President of the United States determines that illegally crossing a border without getting any criminal background check to come into the country from where they're from is acceptable, we're going to watch crime increase. And as the drugs continue to flow across our southern border, people commit more crime to be able to get more drugs and it accelerates from there. There are ways to be able to address this. We're not asking for something unreasonable. Our families and our communities demand that someone stands up for those victims, not those that are actually causing the harm to the victims. And may I remind everyone, law enforcement have families too. And so while this administration decides to be soft on crime, there are individuals in houses today in my state that are hugging a loved one looking them in the face as they walk out in their uniform and saying, be safe out there, while this administration tends to look the other way. That's backwards, and that's not where America's looking for.